Now we're going to do the arm series. So I have one yellow and one blue spring. Same first gear, first stopper. I'm going to extend my legs through the headrest. I'm going to move forward and make sure I have about four inches between my butt and the back of the carriage. I'm going to reach forward and grab my long straps. I'm going to make a V at my heart and sit up nice and tall. I'm going to lift my belly button up, tuck my pelvis, roll back, separate my hands. I'm also separating my feet. I don't think it's impossible for you to see, but I'm pressing my uh, shins into the shoulder wrist to keep you from falling down. And then bicep curls for 15, keeping the collarbone wide, <clears throat> keeping a nice chin space. And then of course, keeping that belly button connected to your spine at all times. Easy head on neck. Wide through the collarbone. Four more. Really work those biceps and belly button. Two more. And then you're gonna turn it back into a V. You're gonna suck your belly in and roll up and take a breath. Next we'll do shoulder rows. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Pull that belly up. Make a V at your chest. Lift, scoop, tuck, roll back. You're gonna lengthen your arms. Really pull that belly button in. And you're gonna bring your elbows high for 15. Two. Remember, whew, elbows go up, armpits go down. Belly button goes in. Easy chin space. You cannot pull eight, your lower back into the mat more. Mine isn't quite touching. But if you can, go for it. Three more. Keep breathing. This should be hard. Last one. Wow. Shoulders down, belly in, roll up. Oh, look at that. All right. Let's go right into bicep curls. So you're going to sit up on your knees, flip around, face the other way, feet up against the shoulder rest. No need to change your springs. Biceps are strong. You can do this one. So keeping the elbows behind you to open the chest. And we double up on biceps because again, they're stubborn and we're doing 15 here as well. So my lower belly is really lifted. My ribs are closed. Shoulders are wide and down. And this is 10, we'll do five more. I am definitely squeezing my hamstring glute insertion point a little bit to stabilize my pelvis. That's legal. And I'm really starting to feel it. One more. All right, my arms are whipped. So I'm gonna take off the blue spring and just have the yellow spring for the next part because I would rather have better form than <coughs> bigger muscles. So I'm gonna come into the same position for serve the tray. This is more chest. I'm gonna lift my belly, super tall, serve that tray, drag it back. Remember when you drag the tray, the tray back, not to drop it on the floor, right? So you can't let your arms go down like that. That's a different exercise. Right, so we're gonna serve the tray, pull it back, serve it, pull it back. Try to stay really wide through your shoulders. Because the whole goal of working the chest, that's 10, we have five more, is to stay wide through the collarbone. It's really a postural thing. So don't think about working your chest. Think about keeping your collarbone wide. And 15. Go ahead, come on down. So you've got choices for hug the world. You could stay up on your knees if you want to. Um, but because you just did chest, and this is a little bit more subtle scapular stabilization, you might want to go ahead and sit on your heels, all right? So I'm going to make that choice. And I'm going to connect my fingers. Just checking that I'm still in the center of the carriage because I moved my position, which I am. And I'm really, for me, this one's about rib cage closure and lower belly lift. And you can see how tiny the range of motion is. I don't want my scapula to move. If I don't want my scapula to move, this 
is all I can do. So remember, it's not about how big you do it, it's about how stable you do it. And my boobs are on fire. We have five more. Oh, la la. One. Remember, you're hugging a beach ball too, so you still have that shoulder, elbow, wrist alignment through your arm. Two more. Wow, that's one. And five. Wow, that really hurt. Give yourself a second. Shake, 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 shake. All right, triceps. Because I've been trying to really jam my triceps, I'm going to come up high. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Let me do 10 high, 5 low. And so you can make a choice on any given day as to where you feel like you need to be, whether you want to stay in this position or whether you want to come up. So for now, for today, I'm going to come up for 10 and down for 5, so you can see the difference. So double salute. Again, uh, there's a little bit of a forward lean here. Armpits are almost pulling forward towards the footrest. Belly is pulling back. And then I'm pressing my elbows straight. I'm keeping my fingers connected. And really wrapping the crap out of my transverse so that I don't fall down. And six. And seven. I feel it a lot in my serratus also. Eight. Really trying to close those ribs. Nine. Triceps are almost an afterthought. Ten. And I'm going to do the last five down just so you remember what that position is like. So we come down five. And I'll tell you it's a lot easier. Four. <laughs> and three. So pick your poison on any given day. Two. You have options. And one. All right. Chest expansion. I'll do that last. And you know there are millions of other arm exercises. We'll get to those in other videos. So for chest expansion, I'm going to hold on to my long straps. I'm going to come to the back of my carriage. I'm going to curl my toes over the back of the carriage. I'm going to sit up nice and tall, lift my belly, close my ribs, draw my arms back, and stop at the hip. And back, and stop at the hip. This is the same spring inch now. It's still one yellow spring in first gear. That's it. And remember on this one, you want to imagine that the arms are growing longer throughout the entire exercises. So it really kills the triceps and the rear deltoid. This is nine, and yes, my hamstrings are turned on. And 10, we're going to do five more. My arms are shaking. Five, shoulders down. Four, three, and two, and last one. Holy mother of God. Because we're here and it's easy, I'm going to add a back exercise. Actually, I'm going to add two because we haven't really done enough of those, I don't think, in this series. So watch carefully. I'm going to take my hand through the front and again through the front. And then I'm going to lift my elbows. And this movement is very small. I'm going to open and open. So right now, really working rear deltoid, neutral pelvis, Shoulder, elbow, wrist, descension point. Scapula is not moving. Ribs are closed. It's very tiny and terrible. That's 10. I'm dying right now. Five, four, five, four. Keep growing through the collarbone wide. Two and one. Okay. One more back exercise. I'm going to add a yellow spring. And I'm going to come up into high kneeling because this one you know, the back is a huge muscle. I just think you have to load up on the springs a little bit more. <clears throat> We're going to come into the... It's going to be too many now. We're going to put our finger in the hole, finger in the hole, and hold on to the handles this way. We're going to turn on our glutes. We're going to lift up our lower belly. We're going to make sure we're in the center. We're going to pull elbows back. Elbows back. Elbows back, yeah. Elbows back. Squeezing armpit to hip. Six, wrapping transverse. Easy head in there. Eight, nine. My palms are facing the ceiling. That's very important. Ten, more. And one. And two. Four. Keep lifting lower belly. Whew. Six, seven, eight. Wrapping, wrapping. Nine, wrapping, wrapping. Ten. Okay. 